Hi, I'm Eric DeMatter. Welcome back to Let's Play Batman the Telltale Series. The Enemy Within on the PC. Wayne Tower, 8.37 a.m. We got controller support working, so that's good. Game should be more enjoyable. Oh, excellent. You. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. What do you want? Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Good. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Oh, confidential Seems materials. Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. Good, go away. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. And I didn't lie and I didn't tell any information. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... Oh, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? <sighs> One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? No. Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. Indeed. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Huh, and the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. Who's coming in? Oh, it's a drone. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. My God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. I like her. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Hmm. Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, a piece of my ears missing? There is. And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. Uh. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look. I think the uh, the word you're looking for is badass. Um, <laughs> no, that is definitely not what I meant. Oh, I'm the resident badass around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you just said that out loud. Uh, see, Bruce, it's her first day, and I'm already embarrassing her. Well, that's a dad's job. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Yeah. <laughs> just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. 
I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Um, uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Cool, how will that help with Let the me take a magic I can record. help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. Alright, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Are you the new Oracle? Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. Why? I heard he wasn't doing so well. Oh, okay. That he was having some issues with his health? He would love that. I hope he isn't still angry with me and Luke about that incident with the China. Well, you know, Al, no one messes with his dinnerware. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. Does she know I'm Batman? <laughs> All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. What's wrong, I dude? never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. Hmm. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? Good idea. We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay, then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about how we can broach the subject with her. We're gonna have a bit of soda. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Okay. Okay. Let's work. Ah, oh, you Wayne. people again. Uh, yes? Fuck. I'm <laughs> Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Wonder if you're a reference to the comedian from Watchmen. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get down here. Keep me in the loop about that, uh, thing. We'll do. That don't sound suspicious at all. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Apology Behavioral not accepted. Analysis Unit. Why are you we at my building? just to ask a few questions? Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? I don't like some donuts. This won't take long. That's a problem. This office, it really represents you. Thanks, uh, I, I think. think so. Is this you? Technically, that's my dad, yeah. but yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After yeah, it used to be. everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Yep, I'm a hero. think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. 
Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. Like ah, you, it's Mr. John Joe. Doe. John Doe, how you doing, dude? I we like understand it. that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. Yeah, we were friendly. He showed me around Arkham. Is that right? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I got out of there as fast as I could. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No oh, one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. <laughs> Why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, okay. Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Why should I trust you? Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Invoking your right to silence, Wayne? That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. No, we won't. Stay out of my building. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. I might still be able to disable it, but you just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius! We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? No! Lucius, Lucius Fox is dead?! Lucius! No! Oh my god! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Oh, <sighs> that's not good. there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. Likewise. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. 
Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham, and that's why he has to be stopped. As long as he is stopped. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. That, uh, sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It will. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. Just thought there'd be more time. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. Fuck this. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. Sorry, my screen just you blacked out for a second. Christ, this is annoying. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just... trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There... there was hardly anything left. Uh, it's because I'm not using the mouse. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. Maybe what were you guys setting. working on that could have caused that? It, uh, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? I'm Batman. <laughs> Fine. Just... Tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I oh. hope you can forgive yourself. I guarantee I can't. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. <sighs> Could have handled that better, so couldn't I? Sorry, really. It's such a shame. At least he went out with a bang, oh. right? Oh. For that, we can all be grateful. Joe? You... John's... you knew my father. Well, no. John, can I talk to you a sec? Bruce! I was hoping I'd bump into you. <laughs> Why don't we catch up over here? Yeah, I'd love that. We have so much to catch up on. Enjoy the rest of your day. 
John, that was unnecessary. Yeah, I know it's a closed casket, but uh, I can see by the genes uh, your friend was a looker, huh? Why are you here, John? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? Yeah, you and me, I know. We're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mock the occasion. Uh, get well soon. <laughs> Ooh. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see. People get upset. You're lucky. Littlest things. It hasn't, um, it hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I get I'm you, you're used to the inside. I know. It's, it's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which ones not to cross? <laughs> you can't possibly mean that. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I get you. convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you... Just sit down. Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend. Yes. A father. Yeah. A husband. A leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. <laughs> For settling the score with Zaz and, you know, Getting you out of Arkham. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I gave you my word, didn't I? I'll stand by it. I knew the moment we met. Friends for life. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I mean, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've... I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I like this Joker. I knew this would work out. This air between us, this is real. You can't you force this shush? kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Thank you, Bruce. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh. I just know you're going to hit it off with the guys. I should warn you, though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. Fair enough. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... 
Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I asked. No problem. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. I know we'll see each other again soon. Be in touch. Goodbye, yeah. Bruce. Until next time. Bye, John. Have a good time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that camera flash went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. We're gonna go a bit longer. Because I'm into this. Or is this a good place to... Yeah, we'll go a bit longer. <clears throat> we're not quite long enough yet, so yeah, let's do it. GCBD, 5.30 p.m. 5.53 p.m. rather. Batman. Enjoying the view? Eh, hard to do these days. There's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier. But when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Eh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Bruce Wayne picked himself up once. He could do it again. Uh, he certainly showed us that much, didn't he? You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That's that not good. Down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity is heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Uh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. Okay, fair enough. I appreciate your uh, insane. A construction 46th. site at the center of 46th. Abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. There's nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. So it's gonna be The land 44th. at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. 
Uh, nice work, Batman. If this leak pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. Good. I don't like her. I know I have Waller. I to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. So do I. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. I'm ruthless. Puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to get her man. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Mm. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. Notify Waller. She's proven useful so far. Just be careful around her, huh? Yeah, she no moved problem, don't worry. my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. Good idea. Well, my people call her people on the way. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knocking. Bat grapple. And I'll see you next time. Same bad time, same bad channel. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you like if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!